Hey, what's going on guys? Joey O here. Dustin. You guys may recognize us from uh, YouTube channel Joey O or previously known as Pekak Pictures or Schmidt Productions. Uh, old videos like Pony Meets World and any other things that we created. Joey on the Grounds. Yeah, yeah, Joey on the Grounds. It goes on and on. We're just some YouTubers, actors on YouTube, you know, we're content creators. Uh, one of our biggest hits on our uh, channel is Pony, Pony Meets, Meets World. World. Our uh, co-starter for that series was a very huge impact in it. You know, he started mm -hmm. it kind of. He gave the title for it. Yeah. Um, it's our uh, actor named Jared. So for the ones that don't know, uh, Pony Meets World is a MOP YouTube fan series made for mainly the Brony community and for any other you know, that's interested. In it. We just started season three, uh, episode one. We just released the episode one on the 29th of February, so it's been it's very recent. Uh, there's just a current situation that we're having, so this is a very important video. That we're making we had some unfortunate news that was brought to uh his attention and then i brought it to mine because it's definitely going to change a lot of a, a lot of things for our upcoming season unfortunately there's no other way to say this but jared uh, will no longer be a part of the series at all jared is no longer going to be part of the production he's not going to be anywhere around and the reason why is because jared on on march 5th he was arrested and put behind bars. He's currently in jail. As I'm making this video, as we speak, he is in definitely, jail. Definitely not the guy we thought he no, was. No, we were not expecting this at all. Yeah. Uh, from, from what I know, he joined the military. He's He was in the, the, the U.S. Army, and then he got off. But then he got yeah. dishonorably discharged yeah. for what? We have no idea. Um, so, like, there was, like, things going on in his personal life, and I guess some of that was affected to it, and I guess it just put a trigger to him i have yeah. we, we have no idea and so let, let me yeah yeah let me so help us about that for this again so let me let me say this so um it, it's public um do mind that this is an ongoing investigation uh law enforcement uh you know a criminal court or however you want to speak it i'm not going to say much you know of what's going on and neither will he so mm. we're not trying to get legally involved with this just, this just, has nothing to do with me yeah it has nothing to do with him it we, has nothing to do with any of we us we just want to keep everyone our fans informed um updated on what's real uh, what's going on for yeah. like so for future episodes that you're never going to see jared in any episodes from now on so we just yeah. want to keep everyone yeah you know updated on March 5th, he was arrested for battery by strangulation. He has a bunch of charges on, on him. Guys, this is nothing, like, good. Like, this is not, like, he stole something. He didn't, like, get drunk. Or, this, we're talking battery, assault. We're talking kidnapping. I mean, we're talking, I mean, he, he has a lot of charges on him. And we here at Raging Virage Films, we don't condone to violence or any harassment. We don't condone to any of that type of nature. We respect everyone who is anyone in all communities we respect all lgbtq we respect all races we respect all genders we respect everything for the greater good we do not agree with what he's done we didn't yeah, know sure that this a was a thing people. again it's sad because a lot of y'all we're just as shocked as you are because yeah. this happened on march 5th i was told this later on that weekend here we are, me and Dustin making this video, telling yeah. you guys now what's going on. Something that we definitely, obviously, had no, no plan, idea, no intention on doing this yeah. at all. We it's just been... released episode one of yeah. the season. We just released a brand new season of this project for you guys. Yeah. We weren't expecting this. We really, we, we weren't. Like, this is nuts. It's, it's terrible. It's crazy. Yeah, he's currently in jail at this very moment. And like I said, you know, um, I, I, the reason why I mentioned the charges because it, again it's on the public record um, mm -hmm. it's on the Lake County uh, Sheriff's Office here in Florida so his record is public it's on the website so I'm just stating what he's what's 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 yeah. he has counts on it ex yeah it explains mm -hmm. all the information and there's just a lot of, of what he was charged with yeah and uh, his photos like I mean it just he, it don't even he doesn't even look so yeah the like, thing is that yeah so like like he doesn't even look like he's there he he doesn't look like himself I don't know what happened for him to act like this. The last time I spoke with him was he was hitting me up about uh, Amazon. He worked at Amazon. He was an Amazon delivery driver. And, and we were talking about, he said he was going to upgrade his green screen. And this is all after the military? No, no, no. This, this is like, this is, that, this is last week. Oh. Like, yeah, I, I, oh. I, I, I'm talking like, bro, like this was like maybe two weeks ago. 
This was like March 3rd, March 4th, before he got arrested on March 5th. This in his uniform, he's like, hey, you know, I I'm gonna upgrade my green screen. I'm gonna actually build a studio. Have a, a small little foreground uh, for practical, physical, you know, sets of things, and we can shoot almost, almost anything that we could think of. He spoke like he was really gonna do a lot for the for, for, for the MLP YouTube fans uh, project. He's more on the east coast of Florida or on the complete west coast. He's an hour and 40 something minutes away. So he was extremely determined to do this because he was driving literally three hours. So an hour and a half here, an hour and a half back. So he was driving three hours every single time we had to film Pony Meets World. Mm. So there was definitely determination on that. That's why this came off as such a shock. He didn't show any aggression at the time he was around us. Oh yeah, anytime yeah. that anytime we did any filming, uh, anytime he was over, like there was no like yeah, signs. There was like nothing. everything was just like how it should have been with anybody. Yeah, um, we're not sugarcoating. We're being yeah. we're recording isn't being yeah. real. We are mm -hmm. being as honest as we're like we're we're, we're being us. So but, as we're making this video, but uh, but when we first started this series, I've always had a bad feeling about this kid something about yes. him threw me off but i just put it off to the side for the film for the fans yeah. Yeah. and for the channel. you know yeah and i just you know it, yeah, so tell him what happened just i'll well, just tell him what happened of course this yeah. was very long time ago yeah. when we were in the makes of trying to create pony meets world in 2013 going into the year 2014 there is a hookah lounge called For You in the Tampa Bay area. This is where we all get up. This is all high school friends, you know, mm -hmm. me and Dustin and other friends. Yeah. Faces that you'll recognize on our channel over the last like 10 plus years. You know, that, that we, all, we all just hang out there. Again, a hookah lounge. And I've been talking to Jared about the MLP in real life idea. Um, it, there's just some drama that started around that time. And it's, it's really unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Again, you know. I do apologize if God forbid he ever sees this, but again, the truth needs to be told. Yeah. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. But the, the whole thing of, you know, Dustin was, you know, uh, talking to um, yeah, a, a, a girl. Yeah. We're not going to mention any names just yeah. for anonymous and for respectful and privacy purposes. But mm -hmm. uh, someone from high school, you know, they were interested in each other. You know, they're obviously, you know, getting into a whole other. Oh, you know, hey, I like you. I like you too. Mm -hmm. For some weird reason, Jared was... Bad against that me, yeah, yeah he, he talking behind me and, and mind you he he jared jared doesn't know this girl much and he he does he barely, he barely even knew, knew him yeah so and i had nothing against him we never we never really yeah ever talked and i barely knew him either so yeah. that's the weird thing i didn't know jared at all like that and way he, so and then he for some reason uh brought that issue or whatever it is that was bothering him from me to a family member of mine yeah his and cousin then, and then told him to not say anything to me but this is my <laughs> blood family yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, so yeah, of course yeah. the, the yeah. course the first thing he did when we left was tell me everything yeah, Jared listen, said. Yeah, yeah. and i'm like oh okay i'm like i don't know i don't, I don't understand what i did but i'm just trying to hang out with a chick that I have, i'm interested in and didn't know that either he was or or not or he's just yeah. trying to we, we, cock block we, we, me or we something we didn't know but... the whole actual purpose why he did that yeah and i Still wasn't to this day. yeah I, to this day. Now, now i wasn't aware of this we spoke i spoke with jared and i said hey i got this mlp in real life idea you know doing my little pony in real life uh animation you know, yada yada you know brony fandom community you know uh, youtube you know i explained him the whole deal um jared is not a brony jared never yeah. was a brony Dustin is not a brony. I am. I am the currently only brony that's part of the brony fandom. Dustin has been my best friend since I was little. He's like my best man. He's a brother. He's blood to me. Jared is not. Jared has never been blood. He's been an actor and just an actor. He's been a decent an friend, an acquaintance. But I didn't, I never spoken with Jared throughout high school. We didn't have no connection to high school. After high school, we graduated 2010, 2011. He joined and he played as the Brum leader in Survivors of Extinction, which is the YouTube um, project on post-nuclear apocalyptic series that's on YouTube. He was the Brum leader for that, so he helped us out. Because him and Jared kind of have the similar body height, type, yeah. height, shape. So, yeah, and again, this is like 2012 time. Yeah. So again, you know, at the hookah lounge, 
Yeah. For some reason, drama breaks out with them, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't of understand. Course I what... had, like, of course, I was like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Let me put a little some yeah. space. You know what and I mean? while they're doing that, I hired him for Pony Meets World, and he is the face. He truly is the face of he Pony came Meets up World. With the name. He created the name Pony, Pony Meets World. World. He truly created the show, and I made it. You know, he created the idea. I, I, I created the show. I want to throw this out here and because of that situation with that chick. Like, jealousy? Yeah, yeah. yeah I jealousy, guess, Petty? I, yeah, 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 Petty. Yeah, yeah, jealousy and Petty, but how he felt towards me. So, honestly, that's kind of the reason why oh, I. Oh, no, yeah, no, we'll get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get there. So, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. So, look, so I hired Jared on the show. We filmed just episode one and episode two. There was gonna be no more Pony Miss World. We, we, I was testing the waters. I was just making the show for fun. We saw the feedback that Pony Miss World received, all the, the views, and it was amazing. Yeah. You, you guys loved it. Um, whether you're watching this from fan wise or you're just now figuring out from us, people loved that series. And I said, okay, well, we gotta continue. And as I said that, I learned the drama with him and Jared, and I did not like that. I said, okay, wait, wait a minute. Like, like this is my brother. Why would you do that? We talked about it. This was pre-times when, before I, I went through cancer, and I'm a uh, cancer survivor, stage four cancer survivor in 2016. This is before all this. This is 2013, so 2014, 15. I didn't like that at all. Um, I was very upset. So we came with the conclusion, like, you know, he needs to get off the show. So that's what he was saying, Dustin. There's a reason why in season one, Dustin hits him with the car. Yeah because we figured we're gonna just go ahead and take him off the show. We were trying to create the whole drama of the uh, show, it's just, you know. Yeah, way, way to incorporate the the film. The conflict. Yeah, yeah, the film and the conflict of what was yeah. going on. So obviously something that I felt uncomfortable with, I didn't want it to be around yeah. with. So we infused of uh, bringing ideas of how we yeah. do, how we do all and i said man episode. you know with your chevy the, the chevy crazy job i was like you know you can actually like you know when he crawls out you could just knock him out he's dead or whatever you know now it's your fault and it causes drama yada yada you know and that's how we we're gonna push him out but the response of the community and the fans at the time of those years it was people didn't want that they did not want him to go Definitely got a lot of requests. Yeah, a lot of requests. Of, hey, can you please like not have him leave the show? You know, yada yada. It, you know, we, that's we the way. We want Jared back. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you know, a lot of comments of I'm not gonna watch it anymore if he's gone. So, for the sake of the show, the sake of the magic of the show, the magic of the project, we said okay, then we have to just I guess keep him. Yeah. And then, uh, and season one of Pony Meets World's uh, story was made by drama. Yeah, Real pretty, life drama. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how. Uh, the spirit world came about well yeah. the spirit world it was actually my idea that was that was all me i don't know what, what made me create the spirit world Great but but yeah but if it, it fit in it fit in with the whole death he stuck mm -hmm. in the spirit world and he was just going to be a spirited like anomaly in the show you know in the spirit realm that's in the show spirit world is, is something that happens in the show it's like a spiritual world place where we visit back and forth we were going to keep this actor in that spot of the project keep him like that but it didn't work so yeah so moving forward moving forward you know we have jared for years this is 2013 2014 it is now the year 2024 yeah. and march 5th he gets arrested for strangulation battery kidnapping i mean i mean like it's unbelievable it, it's this is this it, is not like we're talking first degree third degree yeah, something something that we would always like watch on tv yeah, and, and it's and, happening in a to movie me, yeah. but yeah. it's out of out of anybody it could have happened to and and, it, and, it, and i hate that there's people in this world that would do something that, like that yeah that's that's just like that and because unfortunately, the show the show was made for like funny yeah it's a family comedy. yeah, it's a, yeah. It's, a, it's a family yeah. or in so like pony Meets world is uh, supposed to be like show. really funny it's supposed to be like like oh my gosh like this is what seriously like you know gets me out of like sadness like this this is the show i, I watch to laugh and it's sad to see that the main face of pony Meets world is is corrupted as it can get i'm yeah. sorry but it's, it's that's the truth it's corrupted really and just no other way of saying upset it. and just violent you know that there, there's no excuses for what for what happens the victims are safe the victims are currently in a safe place yes, you, you're um, like yes we like to mention yes that. i should have mentioned that in the beginning i'm sorry guys there's just so much to talk yeah. about here yeah. 
Um, the victims uh, are safe. They're safe and sound. Again, they're protected by law enforcement and everything. And I can't say unharmed. They are actually, they, they've been harmed. Okay, well, yeah. They've been harmed, but they're now safe. Everything's under investigation. Everything is under court. So I cannot speak on behalf of names. Uh, again, I don't have the right to do that because I'm not involved in this. But Jared was involved in Pony Meets World, which affects the YouTube channel. It affects us here because in the circle of people we live in, in the you know in the Bay of, of Florida and Tampa, it just it affects us and it affects the show a lot, big time. So all that's been going on, you know. Like I said, we we were never expecting something like that. It's just there has been moments, and I, I gotta be clear and honest here. Um, again, I I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Like there was moments that Jared would show things that just weren't they weren't normal um like things that he would say uh sometimes the way he would act the way he would speak about you know his situations and his life like like go back to episode uh our first episode yeah if you look at episode one and we're talking this is 2014 we're yeah. talking 10 years ago yeah. and go ahead I don't have any kids, and if I did, I'd strangle them like I'm planning to do to you and your. That that's that's just not something you. That's yeah, that's, that's okay. Like, like you know, I, you know, you can tell. So you see how the video cuts off there? Like I, I got uncomfortable really fast. I was like, oh, hey, whoa, 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 like, like whoa, something whoa, like, 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 like he was strangling him, my kids. Like, like either like me and him would like that wouldn't even cross our yeah, mind. Yeah, like I'm a father. And like yeah. Yeah, and I I, yeah. I have a little girl out here in this world, and I, again I can't say too too much because of what happens, you know. And he is a father, and I see I can't say too much. I can't. But what he said there was just alarming, and that's just. As a father, that upsets the fuck out of me. I'm sorry that upsets me very much. Well, Excuse and, my language. And, 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 that and, makes and, me very upset. And so. It makes you know, like us unsafe. Yeah, yeah. I mean? like, so I'm like, I don't, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking of unsafe, he was in the military. Look, the cat's out of the bag, Jared. I'm sorry, bud. But he ain't my butt. But look, this cat's out of the bag. All right. I, I, I'm just gonna be honest here. Like, like you, you don't just do this to me, bro. You, you, you don't do your family wrong like this and do these victims wrong and then do me wrong when like, I'm trying to bring back season three like no and I'm gonna say it the reason why Jared got disarmed and discharged in the military is because it involved a female and he got disarmed and discharged because apparently he laid his hands on a female or he tried to grab a female he had a sexual problem with a female or harassment hmm wow you know this is all really starting to add up so no he got off the military uh, he was stationed in South Korea and he got discharged Disarm and discharge in the United States military. That's very frowned upon. That's, that's something very, that you don't want. That's disgraceful to the country. That's disgraceful to the United yeah. States. That's not cool. Like, I'm trying my hardest to, like, not, like, beat you up on this, Jared. But you kind of leave me, like, no position yeah. to, like, say something good. Like, you know I mean, you, can't, you, you kind of put this on yourself. Like, man. this is bad. This is really bad. Like, I don't know what else to say for you. Like, all I can say is, look, man, God bless... God bless you. God bless your your kids and your and your 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 what was your wife at the time now your ex wife whatever the case is. God bless your family. Do seek help and just I'm sorry. Just that's I insane. I can't work. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like for somebody that has such mental issues, I'm gonna assume I'm assuming it's mental. It has to issues. be mental because it, it, you know, like it's, that's it's the first thing I would have done was seek help. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like talk to somebody. You know, let, just, let them know what's going on. I don't on. know why you couldn't just walk away. You couldn't have just again. That's what I'm saying. Like th this is bad. Like I, I cannot mention much because of legality. I can't yeah, mention much it's because ongoing yeah, right yeah. Now. it's a current investigation. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you know, he was dishonorably be discharged from the military, and he was in Texas, and then bad stuff happened there. From what I was told, what I was told from victims, bad stuff was going on there, and then he comes back to Florida and he's more in the Orlando area, and we're here in Tampa. And that's also why I know I haven't been to much like conventions when we're in Texas. Yeah, like like he's not much in videos yeah, because or of conventions. my it's because of my work. Mm -hmm. um, but when I'm do when I am there, you know, we have a great time. We always you know present ourselves with our show and everything, and then you know interact with the fans and yeah, yeah. whatnot. But we we really didn't carry Jared with us because we, like, for, for me, 
I just I don't trust the kid. I know like especially ever since that happened back in 2014, I just I had some bad vibe about him and would never feel safe around him. So like if we were staying in the same hotel, I just won't be in the I just I can't. It yeah. is so like that's kind of like why he was really never around when we go to our conventions just because I mean I know he was doing his thing and I was doing my thing. But it's like when we always try to get together, it was it was just strictly just for the filming, and that was it. At least for me. Like what Dustin says about not trusting, it, it's concerning that he was in the state that he owned a lot of firearms. I mean, we're yes. talking. If you're in the military, you know what I mean. It, you're gonna have your hands. He on. had quite the collection of firearms, and yeah. his mind wasn't at the right place when he was arrested. I cannot confirm or deny these. I'm gonna say this out of my own will, I am a speech. I cannot confirm or deny that this. What I was told where he was arming up and he wants a mass shoot and mass murder or do a mass, you know, just do a shooting. This is what I'm talking about. Like this this goes out of line. Like like this goes way out of line. Like I can't confirm that or I can't deny that. But just hearing that and then knowing that there's charges and seeing the arrest records and then seeing the photo, mm, you know, like, this goes way beyond. This is not what we wanted for y'all. We want, we want, we wanted such a great show, a great season three, um, you know, a yeah. great everything for y'all. And this just, this has shocked us much. Like, you know, uh, uh, our crew, you know, the boys, that's it shocked why, everybody, you know. That's why, like, it's so hard to talk about it because it's like, it's just. It's still fresh. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's shocking. It's just comes. It's just like it, it. It scares me that you know. You think you know a guy. That's the best way I can put it. You, you think you, you know think a guy. You know somebody. Yeah. yeah, and you know there is a whole you know everyone's innocent until proven guilty, but that's what this is all under investigations for. But when you have you know when you have charges like this, there's yeah. obviously some type of evidence, and um, yes. there was already a court date that they just had about a week ago, and it's just like man, it's not looking good for Jared. Yeah. And I don't need that in my life. I don't need that right now. Like, he does not need that. Dustin has a lot yeah. going on. Yeah. I have a lot going on. We don't need that right now. Like, yeah. <laughs> even, even if, even if for some reason, you know, like, he's back in his prime again, you know, he's out yeah, in the he world. He gets the help and you know, such. He gets his help. Everything's and good again. That doesn't mean that he is welcome back to the series we at don't all. want it him is, back yeah I, I i feel i feel this is a sign and we yeah. got to take you know as important actions as we can and we got to just move on we got we'll we'll figure out it's you know we'll we'll do our best to come up with uh with the, our new way of continuing the series yeah, we're not that. going to cancel it no i no. refuse to cancel it it's terrible what happens but like what Jared did, you know, and Jared, you're not gonna ruin what I've created. Like, you, this is, you're not gonna ruin what I started. There's a reason why I bring back season three. There's a reason why I called Jared first in 2023, and I said, hey, I'd like to do this again. And you know, he was all, all for it. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why, it's because I'm not gonna stop. I wanna make season three of Pony Meets World, and we're going to, and we will. And episode two is in the works. Mm -hmm. We're already working on it. It's not slowing anything down. We're gonna we're moving forward with yep. this, so it's still gonna have the PMW effect. It doesn't matter. You still got Dustin. There's a good chance that you might have Rydell. I don't know. Like you know, some old faces as well. Some old actors and faces mm -hmm. of the series of Pony Meets World. Maybe the uh, Bruce Balloon guy, the Discord guy, the Balloon Man. We don't know. But what I do know is he's not coming back yeah. and we're going to keep working and we're going to keep making this series while this is happening. Yeah, we want to we want to mention something to still respect of what's going on with him. Yep. So, like, don't bombard him. Yeah. Don't try to reach out. Don't try to explode his social media, yeah. even Bye. though he's not going to answer because he can't. But he's currently in jail. Yeah, for some odd reason, if somebody gets a hold of it, it could be a family member or a friend, if he has any. I, I, I really, I have no idea. But yeah, just, just kind of like respect because obviously it is a, it's a, it's a tough time yeah. right now. Best way to say it, legally and legality, do not contact him.
this is all under investigation. This is all under a court order. This is all he is in jail. This is we're talking this real is why we're law enforcement. This. We're talking court. Like this is actual criminal charges. Yeah, Do no not joke. go and talk to him because he is. That's not the smart thing to do. Do not bother anyone. We're here to inform you what's going on so you guys are aware. So if for some reason, if it's a Twitter X account, if it's a Discord, if it's you know YouTube. And somehow there's communication I advise you literally legally to cut communications because this this yes. is not this is not a normal this thing this is serious it's a very very, very serious thing this is you know serious. serious thing of you know law enforcement you know very I serious mean, we're talking about hard hard yeah, charges. we're talking first degree this is no like third degree ticket this is no. no like I ran a red light no. this this is this is it's a criminal very charge. Serious. Yeah. See, this is my first of knowing somebody to with these be kind of with something very serious yeah. and actually doing quite harm and and, and just so like you know. Yeah. I, obviously, I feel extremely yeah, unsafe. You know, yeah, he's not gonna feel comfortable with that. Yeah. You know, so, and neither neither would I. And and I, I I I can't work with someone like that. So again, I don't think anybody would. No. So. <laughs> But yeah, so that's we yeah. just want to say so. Just don't, don't, don't underestimate the situation, please. Please respect the situation, but don't underestimate it. Do not contact. Do not start. You know what is said in this video is what the facts are. So this is the current facts of the moment. As time goes on, we may do another update. I'm gonna say this: he's currently looking at a life sentence. It's that serious. It's that bad. Like he, he probably will never be able to get out of jail. Like, it's that I, bad. To be honest, I think social media or filming is the last thing on his mind. On his mind, he's not. He does not give a shit about this right now. I, why would he? This is not. His life is on the line right now. So we are giving a shit about what we created, and, and yeah. he's been around way longer. Let me, let me, let me make that a, a thing. He's been around. Dustin has been around way longer than Jared. Jared has jumped in for the MLP, but he was there for the Survivors of Extinction. But he's been there way past yeah. that. Joey show. Yes, yeah, yeah. From 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 when we were in uh, Lato High School, in our original high school. I mean, he's been around with me for a, a long time. So again, do not fret. Do not freak out. We're gonna keep continue making Pony Meets World. Uh, we have original old spaces. They agreed to join on. Uh, to help, uh, you know, to continue the series. You know, I don't need anyone to ask me on comment sections. I don't need anyone to say, hey, I'm a creator. I'm a this. I'm a that. I can help. I'm not looking for help. I'm just informing. We appreciate you. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We appreciate the you want to join. This right. isn't a video for, for we're looking for applications yeah. for sign up. This is for you guys to say, hey, like, for you right. guys to learn. Wow. This is what's like, going on, but these guys are gonna keep moving it yeah, forward. Regardless of or regardless of losing an important uh, person in the film, we're good. We're yeah, like, we're, we're moving solid. it. Go, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, like like he said, we ready. We're we're going with episode two. Yeah, you know, we're like we're ready. Hey, going. He's moving forward in life, and I'm moving forward in my life. Like th we ain't slowing down. Mm -hmm. So you know, equipment is looking good. Things are looking okay. I I have uh, original faces from Pekak Pictures that are gonna you know jump back on this, and we're gonna keep moving Pony Meets World. Like I said, that we already have clips for episode two. He's already filmed. We already have scenes of him filmed mm -hmm. for two and three and possibly four. Like there again, it's not stopping. It, yep. It's not. It didn't stop anything. So like, I'm sorry, but it didn't stop. Like Jared didn't stop anything. Because no. it has nothing. It has n him. He has has nothing to do with what's going on with him. Exactly. It has nothing to do with yeah. us. Pony meets world. That me, Joey, yes. Dustin, everyone in Rage and Virge Films or previous Pekak Pictures and Shred Productions, it has nothing to do with the film team and this. It's just a real life scenario with him and his life and his situation with the life that he had and the people around him. We're gonna keep moving forward with this. You yeah. know, we're not gonna stop. But I just wanted you guys to know that this is what we're looking at and it sucks. We, you know, it's, it's terrible. In a way, I should have, I really should have really picked it up on it. And I'm like, you know, there was some what of a problem and I should have spoke with him like, hey, you know, but he just, he was very good. And people are crazy good at hiding things these days. Yeah. You know, it's, cr people can hide things really well, but I'm, the, I'm just as genuine as it's going to get. And so is Dustin. We've been doing this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been filming. I've been on YouTube since 2006. 
That was the Schmed One YouTube channel. I started a YouTube in 2006. I'm still me. I haven't changed. Like I'm still the same Joey. This is still the same Dustin when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to start thinking, oh, you know, you know the, the, the crew is... No, no, no. This is yeah. Jared's damn problem yeah, he, with his life. Yeah, he and he's not gonna he's not gonna, gonna toxicate us on yeah. that. Because that has nothing to do with us. Because I'm telling you right now, that, again, may, may God bless his soul and may he find help. But you're not gonna sit here and you're gonna affect my life because that's not cool. We're not doing that. And we just started this new production and again just a lot of a lot of things have changed in the last year and a half a lot the cat pictures got shut down because a lot of differences were made you know within people that were part of the pact and then this happens and you know like i said it's just there's just so much things that just went down if you have a comment that is worth being a comment on this video i may answer it if it's anything else it's going to be ignored I'm just being honest and I'm being real and I'm going to be a little uh, strict. Mm. I'm not going to sit here and answer every single comment of what's you know happening because this is a legal thing and it's a legal thing going on. But if you have a like, decent comment to ask us, you know, I will, I will answer to my best capabilities. So, but if don't ask anything dumb or anything crazy, please, you know, mind your, you know, mind your head on what you want to say. We've said everything we want to say. He but, said what he wanted to say for years. And I said what I've been holding you know, back for quite some time. So, like I said, if you have any comments or questions or concerns, you know where to reach us. You know where to find me. You know, I'm here on the YouTube channel. I'm also on Discord. All, everything is in the link in the description below of this video. So you can find us on social media if you are wanting to know something else but if you're gonna ask me you know the court date or this i'm not gonna answer that yeah, that is none of our business it is none of any of our, our your business it's business with him and the court and the state of florida that's his problem he will no longer be a part of yes. his, so his... he is not a part of this anymore yeah. so we are gonna move forward there it is he's out yeah but for good yeah for good like yeah. there it's even again a random moral first time and now it's permanent. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Don't you think that's a little weird? Because it's like, that kind of told us something. It's like... The, well, you know, I tried telling y'all yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, because you, you did try to run him over and threw him off. But then it's like... Because of fans. We did it for the fans. Yeah, we, we, did, yeah, we did it for, for the show. And, it, and the this show is why we show. do it. Yeah. So we'll continue doing it. We're not going to stop, you know. So... Again, that is all we have to say. Uh, we have nothing more to the situation. We don't want to add any more. We don't want to be involved anymore because this doesn't involve us. So that is all we have to say. Yeah, and it. yeah, so, all right, guys, you know, I, I'm sorry this is not a video that I want to make. We didn't yeah. want to make this. This is not something we're happy making. This is, this, this, this is, this, this fucking sucks. This sucks because it's like even no matter how I feel about him, you know what I mean. It's it's still it, it hurts. It, it does. Yeah, it, it's like I it feel does. bad for him, but at the same time, I hope he gets help because it's like, see my voice is cracking because I'm getting upset. It's like I hope he gets help because th this is that's just that's just crazy. That's just. But yeah, <clears throat> so moving on. I know a lot of people looked up to him, and I do apologize about that, guys. You know, I, I'm sorry that this ha is happening, but I don't have I'm control. Very, of this. very sorry. He he chose to do what he did, and, and it, it is now in the hands of him and yeah. God, God and, and in, life. In the, in the legal system. Yeah, right? yeah, the, in the legal system, exactly. <laughs> And we, I'm not messing with the legal system. I'm leaving that as yeah. as be. I'm going this way. Dustin's going that way. We're, we're doing our yeah, thing. We're going that way. Yeah, he's going completely he's the opposite going way. Down that way. Yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. You can't expect me to not make this video of what's going on. Like, yeah. yeah. So like, obviously, I was gonna. Done. Yes, we had to do this, yeah. and we did, and we did it. So, like I said, if you have any comments or questions, I will answer it to my best capabilities, depending on what you ask. Um, like I said, guys, this is not our fault, and we are not at fault for this, you know. So, please understand that, you know, I'm still the genuine Joey and the genuine Dustin that we are. So, don't look at us any differently. We're still the same guys that are at the cons and doing this, and it's, it's us. It's just, we always felt it somewhat different about jared and 
I gave him too many chances in life. I really did. I brought him into Pony Meets World. I invited him to uh, casting calls and films. I think it's on Netflix. Um, again, that was supposed to be him, but due to his job, he was so busy. Yeah, I couldn't make it. Jared got all these opportunities. No, like that's the last final stroll. I'm done. So from here on forth, Jared is no longer part of the productions. We're gonna keep doing it. And we're gonna keep doing our stuff and we're gonna keep moving forward. So I'm sorry guys, but uh, I don't wanna make this video too long. I'm gonna cut it here. Just make it just simple. I don't wanna get into any details or anything anymore because I'm already sick of it. You know, that's all I've been hearing nonstop. Social media, Discord, Patreon, YouTube, X, Twitter, you can find it there. Again, sorry, I'm not gonna say thank you for watching. This is not what I don't wanna make this, but We'll keep you guys updated if we hear anything, if things get more out of hands. But as of now, Pony Meets World is not canceled, and we're going to still make the dang thing because we love it, and I love making love, love Pony it. Meets we World. All, we always have a, we always have passion a blast. For it. Yeah. We have, we blast always, and passion. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But all right, guys, I will talk to you guys soon, and I will ho hopefully you guys can see episode two coming out very soon. Look forward for Pony Meets World season three, episode yes. two. All right, guys, take care.